everyone, Gretchen Wegner here, and I wondered if you ever have trouble memorizing math equations. I know a lot of teachers these days allow students to bring in like a note card with the equations on them, but in the event that your teacher does not allow this and you actually have to have them memorized, I recommend spending some time uh, finding some silly, silly, anti-boring ways to get those equations into your brain. And my client Sam and I were doing this today, and I wanted to share one of the silly stories we came up with, because it seemed really powerful for him, and it was super fun to come up with. So first of all, there it is. That's the equation. It's the equation for compound interest. And I actually have to admit, I don't know a lot about compound interest. Um, I probably wouldn't know how to apply that. Math is not my specialty, but learning is my specialty. And Sam knows how to apply the equation. And so that's really the most important thing. Uh, so parents out there and other coaches out there, you can always help a student with uh, math or really any subject, as long as you understand good learning technique. So there it is, the equation. And um, I noticed when I first looked at it that that A equals P makes me immediately think of the word ape. So that's what I used as my main um, visual to come up with the story. And then I looked at the parentheses and I thought, well, gosh, those parentheses look like bananas. <laughs> that works really well with my story. And uh, then because the human brain loves both narrative, story, and visual images, I wanted to create a really good visual that would go with it so that Sam could really get it. And um, we, so we drew a palm tree with some bananas on the palm tree. And then, let me get my marker here, uh, and then this is the story that we practiced together. Uh, so once upon a time, there was an ape, and that ape really wanted some bananas. Uh, so he started by picking one banana, but then something scared him and he ran off, R over N, ran off, and so he did not get any more bananas. Simple as that. Uh, Sam, I had him, I quizzed him a number of times, I made him write it, I made him speak it out loud. So we were using all of the study senses, if you're um, familiar with my anti-boring approach to powerful studying uh, vocabulary. And um, I think he's actually good to go. And I recommend it to his family because he has about, I think about seven or eight more formulas that he needs to memorize. I recommend that they all sit around the dining table together, maybe at dinner tonight, and practice finding some more silly stories to go along with it. And then Sam can write those stories on his flashcards and um, then practice memorizing them. So I hope this really helps for those of you who are um, not so mathematically formula inclined to come up with stories and visual images. And if you have any questions, please email me at Gretchen at GretchenWegner.com. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.